actually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sh um, play the clip of what Alex says um, and then I'll kind of talk about how I relate to it um, so spoilers <laughs> if you haven't seen the episode yet but the one part of my life that I've never been able to make perfect was dating. I just never really liked it. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I tried. You know, I got, I got asked out. I just, I never liked being intimate. I just, I don't know. I thought maybe that's just not the way that I was built. You know, it's just not my thing. I never, I never thought that it was because of the other that thought maybe I I mean I don't I don't know now now I just I can't I can't stop thinking about about what uh, maybe there's some truth to what you said trying to um, decide what to say um, um, I didn't expect for it to hit me um, as hard as it did like I expected to cry, um, but I expected to cry from like, just like the expectation and the excitement of the fact that like this is gonna happen in some way, you know? Um, and I obviously am crying uh, because of that. Um, just like happy tears of just like so much emotion and like just explodes um I'm also crying because the more I think about it um the more I realize how much I kind of I I um identify with Alex in her um, realization of kind of questioning it coming into questioning her sexuality um, this isn't really how I was planning on making a um, video about my sexuality but I mean why not right um kind of like her I, I never dating was never really a thing that I did um, granted, I never really got asked. I never really got asked out like she did, uh, but it was never something I was very, um, interested in or thought about, really. Um, and then, I don't know, I had a boyfriend, um, and then I was like, yeah, this doesn't really seem right. Um, and I just kind of started trying to figure out why it didn't seem right um and i just spent a lot of sleepless nights trying to <sighs> trying to label myself um which i now know is dumb because labels are stupid um but one thing that I've seen and I, I I try not to go into the comment section but 
you know, sometimes you get, you end up there. And I've seen people saying that, um, they don't like how they've all of a sudden made Alex gay after 30 something years. And that's how it works sometimes with people. They, they go their whole life not, not knowing who they are totally. And when I say they, I mean me. <laughs> I am an example of a person that goes through a good number of years into their adulthood um, confused and not knowing why. And the thing that I appreciate about it the most is um, that it wasn't a sudden thing. That Alex had felt like this for a while and that she had lived kind of an unhappy life until that moment when she all of a sudden, it all of a sudden just kind of clicked for her, I guess. I just really hope also that they do it justice and they do it, um, they do it well. Because that's the last thing we need. Let's take 2016 out with mid-happiness.